about to go hike our volcano. Just gonna try to take a lot of little video clips along the way. See what we can make. Okay. So we have our backpacks packed. Um, the cool part about the company that we're working through, they actually have this gear room. So you can rent some gears that you need. No, you're totally fine. And then we can, there's like a snack bar. So we have snacks and gear. And we're all ready to go. We are now on the bus. And we are driving to the Volcano now. I think it's about a 50 minute drive. Um, and then you know, when we get there, we start the quads. We'll see how it goes. Here we go. This has been like straight uphill for the last hour at least so. so we made it to the registration area and when I thought this hike would be difficult uh, it's difficult <laughs> yeah so here we are that's the registration building Woo! got our tickets so we have just stopped for lunch in our little hut and uh, we had like plant-based meatballs and some mashed potatoes which is super yummy it's actually like super, I was expecting it to be more like volcano-y and rocky, but it's actually very green, which I guess makes sense because the soil is like very rich. Okay, so debatably, hardest hike we've ever done. Yeah, this is awful. We got 20 more minutes of uphill and then we get what is called Guatemalan flat. So we'll see if it's actually flat. This is how I'm feeling right now. I'm tired. So now I think maybe we're on the flat part. Um, but we still have about another hour at least until base camp. So. Yay. I have a friend. So I'm much happier about hiking right now. We are a little worried we will not be able to see any volcano. So we made it to base camp. These are little cabins we are staying in. Never been more ready to sleep in my entire life. But we might still do another hike depending on what the weather looks like. But it's not looking good right now. Okay, it's been clearing up a little bit. Totally you can up. see some volcanoes. It's just so, look how high we are. <laughs> it's happening. So there's an add on hike you can do to go to Fuego, which is like the volcano that's erupting. So we are going there. That's another four hours. So we're doing it. Okay, so oh, came down from that volcano and going up there. Oh, we made it to the top. That's the first volcano we hiked. back in the dark. It's exhausting. Oh my god. We did it. We have some hot chocolate. They're getting us some food over here. As the hardest hike I have ever do done in my entire life. <laughs> We woke up at 3.45 and we are hiking to the summit of the volcano and I'm so tired and sleep last night. 
Oh, look at the it's view. Terrible. You guys doing good? Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, from here to the, to the end, I think it's another 10 to 15 so minutes. Okay. okay. Just be careful in this part. It's only three minutes in rocks and then it's okay, like so we made it to the summit. The view is a little bit foggy, but still pretty awesome. And my toes are so cold, I'm so tired. But we did it. It's so worth it. We are running down this volcano here. Yeah. Uh, we got a couple more descents like that. Shoes are super dirty. But check out this view. We're doing a ski school. That is Fuego, and we are just making our way um, back to base camp. No way. <laughs> We're eating breakfast while the volcano is just exploding in front of us. <sighs> what a life. Those are our beds. Um, so there's eight people in a room. That's actually pretty nice. You come out here, we got a volcano here, had another one over here. That one erupted all night long. It was super awesome. But yeah. About to hike back down now. We hike back down. Gotten into the fog. Crazy mossy trees if you're really pretty. You can go about halfway back to the bottom. Downhill is so much easier than up. You could do this for days. Break down. Definitely came up with a little bit of bad wounds. But all in all, great hike. We made it. Yeah. Finally did it. 